Good evening, my friends. This is VJ Franz K. If you've been watching my channel, you'll probably recognize this. The tenori on, one of my most favorite electronic musical instruments. But you also know that I like to unveil new developments to the synthesizer and app world. So without further ado, allow me to introduce to you the Tenori On app for iPad, now available on the American App Store at last. I'm going to preview it, show you the basics. It sounds great, it looks great, and it's very authentically Tenori On, just like the real experience that until now only a lucky few have been able to enjoy. I'm just going to show you some basics in this video. We'll go into more depth later. Just remember, this app is very similar to the hardware version. The many videos that exist featuring the hardware version can be your guide for learning to play the software. I can put notes down here by pressing and holding. If I only tap on the button slightly, I'm playing the sound, but I'm not laying down a mark. Almost all controls are accomplished by pressing this screen area, but these modifier keys change the function of what is happening up here. Briefly, you see I can select a different instrument, I can change the length of those sounds from short to long. It's not evident with that patch, but here I can change the speed of each individual layer. That's interesting and very powerful for creating complicated sequences and unusual interactions. I can make it only repeat part of the loop which is also very powerful because I can have many different loops and layers operating separately. Because I like to uh, do electronic drums, I have a drum set here. We can pick different drum sets by moving left or right. This row is drum sets. The rest of these are uh, different instruments. Three of them in the hardware version are used as user layers. Now they don't exist yet in the software version but we're assuming they'll probably add that in a update soon. Many different types of sounds are available. 16 different layers. That is layer 1. Tapping that once clears the layer. The iPad's small but very effective speaker um, produces rich bass tones. Actually it might have more bass than the original Tenori. Of course, it is only a mono speaker, unlike the uh, Tenorion, which has, you know, a stereo set of speakers. But, oh well, you can always use your uh, headphones to hear both sides of the stereo pair or use a sound out adapter. Actually, quite adequate. One of the best parts of the Tenorion experience is that there are multiple layers with uh, multiple types of sequencing going on. Here is the bounce mode. And let me show you another key innovation. You'll notice you can do a lot with just a little bit on the bottom of the screen, a little bit of real estate. Up here near the top, you'll notice a zoom button. There we go. Now this was uh, developed for iPhone users to be able to make the buttons larger, but it's also great fun for fans of bounce mode like myself, because now we can make the little buttons not so little. It can be fun to flip back and forth between a few different patches while still using the same pattern. There is so much you will discover with this app. It's 
wonderful musical experience. It'll free you from uh, being stuck in your musical ideas. If there's anything I miss from uh, the hardware version, you'll notice how very bright these lights are. And if you're in a dark room, it's basically light or dark. And I wish that they could have an adjustable background color as well as the adjustable highlight color, you know, to just make it super high contrast because it is a little difficult to see these buttons. There's a very tactile feel to them. Each one makes a click or you can uh, move your finger over them smoothly, sort of like waterfall keys, but you can feel where the different notes and dots are, so you don't even have to look at it all the time. It's of course perfectly glass smooth, so uh, you don't get that tactile feedback. But, you know, what can you say? Uh, nothing is perfect in this world. In a quick summary, I must say I'm quite pleased with TNRI, the Tenorion official app for iPad or iPhone. Leave your comments and questions. Subscribe to my reviews. This is VJ Franz K. Signing out for now. I'll be back again very soon to sync the hardware Tenori with the software Tenori using special cables or also over the internet using Apple's Game Center, which is uh, simply amazing and no pun intended, opens up entirely new worlds of musical possibilities for collaboration and uh, adventures with others. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Minimalist Joy It's hard to do this and film at the same time. Usually, you'll want to Hold your Tenorion, our Tenorion iPad, in two hands. It really is meant to be held in two hands. Behold the magnificence of zoomed dots. The hardware Tenori has these buttons on the side, labeled R1 to R5 and L1 to L5. And these buttons are now moved down to the lower area. It makes sense, because actually, the iPad and uh, the Tenorion are nearly the same size, so it's pretty much an actual size adjustment there, except, you know, they use the screen real estate in the best way they could, I guess. You can navigate the menus by clicking on the little window. Then it gets more standard iPad. I'm going to show you something. We can pick the color of the lights. You can have white, like your standard Tenorion white, orange, like Tenorion orange, but also a bunch of other colors like this purple, red, orange, green. You can personalize your Tenori in that way. But there's also a secret reason for all these colors. By using the internet jamming features, which we will get into next time. You and your friends can have uh, different colors of pattern going on the screen. Sooner or later, I'm going to actually organize an internet jam and finally have a reason to get myself a Game Center account. This is draw mode. Even from drums to notes, or from notes to drums. This on-screen wheel is very nice. It's just like the uh, the roller wheel on the actual Tenori. Random mode. Now, random mode is not actually random.
a dot will move back and forth between different points that you have lit. Now at first this may seem kind of chaotic, but after you master Tenori on playing, you will also master seemingly chaotic musical patterns and be able to bring them together into an amazing order that seems a combination of organic and digital. It's uh, really an amazing music experience and uh, I wish you could all try it and actually you can to experience how fun <laughs> this actually is. <laughs>